Hi, my name is Mike Clark. Today we're going to talk about Trotex Job Control Vision. Basically this is Trotex version of a camera registration system. I'm not going to go over the basics of the system. What we're going to talk about today is an issue that came out recently with a customer and we're going to show you how we overcame that issue. The issue basically was they had some pre-printed acrylic and the problem with the pre-printed acrylic was they printed white dots instead of black dots. Black dots are easier to read than white dots. Typically what we want to see is black dots printed on the acrylic. This makes the registration system a lot more accurate when it's actually reading the fiducials or dots that have been printed. In this case, because the dots are white, it's harder for the camera to pick up the white dots on the clear acrylic. The first way that we're going to aid in picking up the registration dots is we're going to use some black tape on the background behind the dots. Hopefully this will make it easier for the camera to pick up the white dots against the black tape. So what we need to do first is we're going to cut away the actual mask because this has the mask on it. So you can see that we've got white dots here and again this presents a problem. So we've got a piece of black electrical tape and we're going to place it right behind the dot like so. Make sure you get rid of all the air bubbles. Then we're going to come over to one of the, another dot. And again I'm going to cut away the masking. I'm going to do this to all three dots. What I'm trying to do here is just bring the dot into focus so I've got a solid green line here which basically indicates that the, the dot is, has been recognized by the camera. So as you can see with this application, we're able to read the white dots with the help of some black tape. This is one way that we can achieve the camera recognizing white fiducials. The second way is to use a black dot overlay. By placing the paper behind the dot just to give it the white background. And I'm going to take a black dot, which is the same size as the white dot, and that's going to be pressed over top of the black dot. I'm going to repeat the procedure for the other two dots. Thanks for watching our video today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments field below.